exactly. Just, just take a second.
of the new generation that I speak about so much has grown in a way where they no longer have fear. And the way people express themselves in every culture is always through their music. The new generation is starting to express a lack of fear for society and what it's about. Wu-Tang and I can go on for a million names. They're going off for chemistry. Now, whether Wu-Tang and them are serious or not, it doesn't matter. Because the children that are watching it believe they're serious. See, when you see Ice Cube, before he did the movie, uh, about the snake, what is it? Anna. Anna. He played like he was out the hood, a young hoodlum from the gangs of California. And he had a frown on his face, and he implied, I ain't taking no mess from nobody. Right? Then they gave him a movie part, and they let a white boy slap him down. <laughs> he supposed to be so racist. Take his knife and kick it out of his hand. And he ends up in the middle of the forest running from an animated snake. <laughs> now the child who took him serious and frowned his face and started folding his fingers and doing different stuff, who won't get the opportunity to become a movie star or a script written by somebody, this child is now what? <coughs> he is confused. <laughs> The game didn't stop when Snoop Dogg took a movie part. The game didn't stop when Ice Cube took a movie part. The game didn't stop when Ice T took a music part. The game kept going. So those kids that were listening to them were really believing that what they stood for as gangsters was true and real. So now they have bred a generation of real ones who aren't as scared and it's coming out in their music every day. The way they feel about anybody that comes out against them is like very similar to what we used to say to the Sunnis. You can come, just come right. right. Don't come with conversation. You really come and just come right and let's get over it. That's their mentality. You follow? So now society has got to get rid of hip hop music. Because regardless of, of, of how much money it makes or how commercial it is, it has now bred dangerous children who will kill you. No joke. So they made sure they let Erica Badu, Joe, Braxton, and a couple of other people who are more geared towards R&B take all the Soul Train Awards. You didn't see Wu Tang up there. In fact, you did, but they got mad because they didn't get an award. <laughs> you didn't see Snoop Dogg get no award. <clears throat> Your father, Pump Daddy, did uh, Uncle Tom's show. He tap danced. He did the old soft shoe. The old Uncle Remus. Old <laughs> Jacob. He got up there and tap danced. Am I right? Right. And then slid down like Fred Astaire used to do. <laughs> and then tried to rap while having on a white suit with a red satin vest, or with a white satin vest and a Stetson hat. And little Kim came out with a blonde wig on, trying to look like Mal, uh, Mal Monroe. And she went dressed. She didn't take her clothes off at them awards, did she? Uh, she did a little rapping from the backstage first. You didn't even see it for the first couple of seconds. Then she came out of wave and then walked off like the, with the piano, Liberace. Yeah. And got inside a Rolls Royce at Liberace's game. And then they rolled off the stage. But that is nothing hardcore, nothing pertaining to the Union Mafia or the, the syndicate or the crime family, all that stuff. They, nothing was there on that stage like that. Was it? It was a sign for you, young hip hoppers, that the man has stepped in and decided to eliminate that kind of music. And that he controls it. Why? Because, as, as Plato once said, the mask the actor is wearing is apt to become his face. These children who didn't know that Snoop Dogg and all of them was acting like this because they was after the Monday, that it was all theatrics to them. These kids took it serious, and now society
actually has a serious problem. A generation of kids that will shoot you dead. For nothing or less than that. The latest rap songs coming out now is I want to dance and party. They don't want to fight. That's what they're saying. Because having a good time is next to or near impossible in the hip-hop generation without the possibility of a shootout or bloodbath. But when we was coming up, we could go and have a good time and party and go home. Talk to any girl the party we wanted. Now a young man go to party, he's afraid if he talks to some girl from the wrong game, there might be a bloodbath, so there's no fun. It's fair. All right, am I right? So they have to change the system. And that shows you how, how easily they can manipulate our emotions. Because we all watch that soul train war. And as I looked at I laughed, kept laughing, because I had young people in my house saying, look at that. And they were like, what? I said, you don't even see it, do you? Look, this looks normal to you, doesn't it? Heavy D is on the stage. Grandfather Heavy D. <laughs> Patty LaBelle. What is she doing up there? What has she got to do with Soul Train Awards was supposed to be booked for the young. And why wasn't it given by, what's his name? Russell. Why was it given by Soul Train? You know how old that guy is? He's older than me. Rob <laughs> Cornelius. He can be my grandfather. How is the hip hop generation surrendering to him? But they can call us old fogies and out of, out of date. R&B, that stuff is all dead, new stuff is in. I acknowledge and respect the reality of it. But I also, as a reader of time and space, I see that the man that messed around and let me great. There's several dimensions to our nature as a people. We can be very cooperative, or we can be very uncooperative. As a people, if you like and if you respect us, we can get along with you. If you disrespect us, we'll tolerate it even. If you abuse us, we will tolerate it for a while. And then something clicks. <laughs> and our whole nature changes. It happens in our house as children. You're not there, so you don't know it. See, it's different the way Europeans chastise their children and the way Nubians chastise their children. They'll tell Johnny to stop something six or seven times. Why, you know, that didn't happen in your house. <laughs> they said, cut that shit out. <laughs> and that didn't mean they were mad yet. <laughs> that was just chapter one. Cut that shit out. They didn't make one of Don't make me have to come back to them. <laughs> you know and the next conversation was had with the other person in the other room. <laughs> the next thing you knew was footsteps <laughs> and everybody got it while we're pointing fingers and saying no he did it I never had to do it while you stood still <laughs> and we're the type of people that we're tolerant like that so you can break that way and we've accepted the abuse he said man look at that did the fly he did we well, would think with all the facts in the world would jump up and go crazy. That's not how we are. We really, really look and say, oh, most, oh half of us were saying, I know Rodney King was high. <laughs> know them they would resist the arrest. You know, we know the reality. Whether or not we want to face certain realities at certain times. I mean, we all say, we know the way OJ did it. Now we can say, Jippy, you out here, he got off, but in the back of our minds, we're all saying, we know OJ did it. <laughs> So if you want that type of tolerance, you have to accept the other type of tolerance to come with it. But as a people, that tolerance runs out. And what has happened is, with the young generation, they have got to the end of the rope and found nothing to hang on to. So they just don't give a damn no more. Get with me. I deal with reality. Loosen your mind to the truth and don't get mad at me. No politician can give you peace. If you trust Jesus, why do you vote for a beast? Emancipation is long overdue, so it becomes procrastination, because freedom...